this time, uh, I'd like to open it up for any questions. Yeah, I'd like to. Um, you take this. <coughs> I'd just like to make some comments that uh, I have a piece of paper I'd like to give you. This is the town of German. And this is about water contamination regulation. And what it shows is that even though the DEC is a body to write the laws on water contamination and what, what rules might govern industries that might come here, the town, they had what I consider a good lawyer, basically wrote recommendations in a resolution to the DEC. So what it says is that the town does have a voice to make decisions about what toxins they might, they could make recommendations to the DEC and they hold weight. As far as what, you know, what they would want to have in their regulations for industry. Now, this is, I'll try and make this quick. This is a critical concern because some of the contaminants take a very small amount to cause a difference in the livelihood of people. For instance, the EPA level for radium, 226, its measurement, if it's over, it says that water for public should not be over five picocuries per liter. I didn't know what that was either a month ago and I looked it up. It turned out it's easy to figure out. A curie just happens to be the amount of curie based the curie off of a gram of radium, 226. A pico is one trillion. So if you're talking about five pico curies per liter, you're saying one five trillionths of a gram of radium for some people will cause a statistical increase in the cancer rate. That means that, uh, just to drive home that idea of a trillion, that means if you have a weight of a nickel, which is about five grams, that could contaminate a trillion liters of water. With a, if, I mean, if it could dissolve. Most metals don't like to dissolve. But if you could find a means which it could be dissolved in an ion form, that one gram, that would contaminate a trillion liters <coughs> of water to if the people were drinking it, it would be a significant impact, statistical impact of cancer for some people. So, um, you know, I, I urge you to take a look at that and I'll realize glad, that- I'm glad, I'm sure the board would be glad to look at it. Whether we can understand it or not, I'm not too sure. Well, I um, pulled, I'm more I've like got a lot yeah. more information on this. I know. It's, it's basically, I'm speaking for myself, that's, you're talking way over my head, okay? I don't know exactly. Now, if you were talking about giving a cow a shot of antibiotics and not sending the milk, then I can talk to you. Well, I but, know. Um, that's that um, basically, you should be corresponding with the state DEC and the governor because you're talking about things that... But that's just it. That's what I'm saying. It's a town of Germans that literally, I mean, their town smaller than us, that decided to make a statement that we don't want, you know, you don't have to say technical things. You, it doesn't have to be high science. It just says we're not going to allow any industry that contaminates our water greater than the EPA regulatory levels allowed. And, I mean, that everybody could understand. I'm not sure. I'm well, not sure. I don't know. With without a study, I don't know how it affect the rest of the industries here. But it's coming back to the same thing. It, uh, basically, you're trying to go in the back way and and talk about fracking. We're really no, not talking, I'm talking about, about fracking. Water contamination. That's it's, all. When you refer to industry, what industry are we talking about? Any industry. Any. I would suggest that you... Lisa Jackson said there's no contamination of water through... Uh, that's I'm not going to talk about that. That's, uh, I'm just <laughs> pointing out something. Okay, well, thank you very much.
look at. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Any other questions?